Friday, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to go through our tempo, but just like we've been working, um, have, if mom and dad are around, ask them for a hanger. If you have your swords, your lightsabers, whatever you want to use today, we're going to finish with some sword set again today. We're getting pretty close. To the so before we do that, everybody, come on up. Let's get in our front positions. Let's all show respect and bow in. We're going to step out, take our breaths. And oh, all right, we're going to start just with our five speeds today. So that's going to be our running in place. Remember, running in place means I'm not moving forward, I'm not moving backwards. I'm staying in the same area that I am in whatever room I am, and that's where I'm going to do my run. So one is going to be slow motion. Two is going to be a little bit faster. Three is medium speed. Four is medium high. And five is going to be fast again. And four is going to be So those are our five speeds. One through five. And then statue is going to be our, our front position. All right, let's start in front position. And one. Slow. Good. Lift those knees up. Use those arms. Two. A little bit faster. Three. Medium speed. And from And three. From the Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, as best you can, as best you can. Five, 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 five. Go, 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 go. Get all over. Good. Ooh, everybody's heart should be beating faster. Take one big deep breath. And two. And three. Good. Shake it out. Let's start with our head. Shake out that head. Right and left. Side to side. Up and down, around the wall, and around the wall. One more time. Right and left, side to side, back to front, around the wall. Shoulders, shrug them up and down. Yep. Like you're asking your friend, what do you want to do today? You're going, uh -huh. I don't know. No, just one, one side. Just the other side. One at a time, over, back and forth, back and forth. Good. Just the elbows. Hang those, those elbows up to the side, swing it like a, like a scarecrow, like a robot, right and left, right and left. Good, around the circle. Switch that circle. Now, shoulders, move those shoulders back. Move them forward. Now we're just gonna do one of those shoulders. So one arm's gonna point, it's gonna stay there, it's not gonna move from that spot. And the other one's going to move. Now it's going to switch its circle. Now your other arm is going to stay. And we're going to switch arms, alternating arms that are moving in the circle. And back. Good. Hands at your hips. Push your hips forward. Push them back. Forward. Back. To the side, to the side, around the world, and around the world the other direction. Good. But now we're going to lift up our knees and we're going to move our knees in circles. So we're going to get one leg, it's going to go up and over. I've got an imaginary block. This is something that you can actually do at home, is maybe grab a piece of furniture from the living room, or stack up some books. It doesn't matter how high you go, but you're just gonna practice going up and over that little obstacle you made. And if you don't have anything, that's okay. I can do the same exercise in the air, but the point is to lift that knee nice and high. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you with my obstacle.
this carry is going to just do it in the air. And up and over and back. Up and over and back. Loosen up those hips. And back. Up and over and back. And switch. Same thing on my left leg. Up and over and back. Good. Over and back. Really good drill to develop our legs for any of our kicks. Open those hips up. And back, all right. So now that we got those legs warmed up a little bit, let's stretch them out. We're gonna do our wide leg stretch today. So as wide as you can, still keeping your legs straight. I don't wanna bend my knees. That's not good for my knees in this one. It's not gonna stretch my legs. I don't wanna lift my feet up. I wanna keep my feet flat on the ground. So if you can only get this far right now, that's fine. We're gonna work on getting wider as we go. From here, you're gonna take your arms in front and you're gonna let gravity pull your shoulders down. And then once you find yourself as low as you get, go ahead and put your hands down. Good, we're gonna rock a little bit side to side. So when I go to one side, I can let that knee bend a little bit. When I go to the other side, I straighten and then I bend the other knee. Back and forth. Good. Everybody, come on back up, one position. And one. That's right, at slow speed. Two, three, four, five. And one. And five. And one. And five. And one. And statue. Woo. Nice little start to our warm up. Once again, since it's, it is Friday, let's break out the blocks again. We already have two of them down here. And let's put our, our blue and our orange together, which is our basics and how many we're going to do, and our exercises and our time limit or count for the, uh, the, the red and the yellow. So, Ms. Carey, why don't you give them a roll? We've got 45 seconds of spin up. So this can be whatever app exercise you want to do. We're going to go for 45 seconds. You could do your crunches. That's just using my abs to lift my shoulders up. See how little shoulders go up? That's how little I need to, to activate those ab muscles. It could be your water pumps straight up. Or sit-ups are going to be bringing your shoulders all the way up. And see how my chin stays up. I don't want to let my back curl over. That's not using those, those ab muscles that I'm supposed to be working. So here we go. 45 seconds are on the clock. I think I'm going to do water pumps today. I think I'm going to do full sit-ups. Whoa, the scary is doing the sit-up challenge. Here we go. And 45 seconds, go. Make sure you're breathing. Good. We're 15 seconds in. We're almost halfway. Keep breathing, guys. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Never give up. Remember, the tiger teaches us determination. Black belts are just white belts that never gave up. And anything you do, don't quit. That's the only way you can fail. <laughs> And 15 seconds, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo, that was a good one. So now we got our basics with our, our blue and our orange. And that's going to lead us into some new basics today. Some, some, some other ideas that we'll play with. So, so we've got four wild wow. card. So I'd like to work some, some kicks today, some legs. We're gonna do some knees, some knee strikes. 
So I'm going to get my neutral bow. We're going to do four front leg, four back leg, and then we're going to switch. We're going to start with that front leg first. We're going to reach, we're going to grab, we're going to pull into that front knee. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now switch those legs, back leg. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to switch which legs in front, and I'll do the front leg again. One, two, three, four. Now back leg. One, two, three, four. Good. Shake that out. Shake out the hands. Shake out the legs. Everybody take three baby breaths in. One, two, three. Good. So this next round of basics, I want to start from my horse stance. We're going to use pieces that everybody here knows, our blocks and our strikes. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start with our outward blocks. Let's do 10 of our outward blocks, vertical, outward, straight up and down, like our eight-point blocking set. Here we go. One, two, make sure you're keying. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to get a little bit trickier. We're going to do our counter strike every time. Outward punch. Outward punch. We're going to do 10 of those. Five on the left, five on the right, five on the right, five on the left. Here we go. One, block punch. Two, block punch. Three, block punch. Four, block punch. Five, block punch. Six, block punch. Seven, block punch. Same arm. Eight, block punch. Same arm. Nine, block punch. Ten, block punch. Last level, this is where we're going to get tricky because you're going to do the same arm. You're going to do uh, the first arm twice and then you're going to do the second arm twice as you switch sides. It's going to look like this. I'm going to block, punch, punch. Now that same arm that punch is going to start the other side. Block, punch, punch. Block, punch, punch. Take your time as we get more sophisticated with this. If your brain starts stripping out of your ear, just slow it down. Remember, all of our numbers are just numbers to get repetitions in. Go for precision over uh, speed. Remember the theme of the week, patience. Take your time and do it right. Here we go. I'm going to go slow for about the first five, and then I'll speed it up just a little bit to give you a challenge and see what it looks like. A little bit more full speed, full power. So we've got one out punch, punch, two out punch, punch, three out punch, punch, four out punch, punch, five out punch, punch. Good. We're going to speed it up just a hair now, starting with that arm that finished the punch. And out punch, punch, and then out punch, punch. Out, punch, punch. Out, punch, punch. Let's do two more for safety. Out, punch, punch. And out, punch, punch. Good. Shake that out. Now let's get some inward blocks and some hammer strikes. We're going to get trickier as we change blocks here. So just the inward blocks from our horse stance. Let's wind up that inward block. Make sure that the fist goes across your face. Just inward blocks and then inward blocks. And every time I switch arms, just like we always do, I'm pulling that other arm back into my chamber so that we have two directional movement. Both of those movements help each other out for power and coordination. Here we go, just the inward blocks. And one, good, get those key eyes. Those breathing, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to add our coordination strike um, like we normally do in our 
eight point blocking with counter strikes, which is going to be our inward block, same arm, comes back in hammer. So see if, if, if I was looking at myself in the mirror, I'm hitting myself in the jaw right there. So I'm pretending hammer right into uh, the jaw. Here we go, just the blocks with the hammers. And one, block hammer, two, block hammer, three, block hammer, four, block hammer, five, block hammer, six, block hammer, seven, block hammer, eight, block hammer, nine, block hammer, ten, block hammer. Good, now here is the brain teaser, but we're gonna keep pairing that third strike, it's gonna be the same, it's just gonna be a front two couple punch again. So we're gonna add to our block hammer punch. Now I gotta get a little bit of wind up so I can block hammer punch. That third strike is gonna turn into the block that leads me into the other side. Here we go, once again, we're gonna do five, a little bit slower. Five, just slightly faster for a little bit more challenge. Go at your own pace, make sure you're breathing, make sure you're getting full range of motion. You're always holding that force stance. Knees bent to the side, feet straight forward, back straight, arms are up at your ribs. Here we go. One, block, hammer, punch. Two, block, hammer, punch. Three, block, hammer, punch. Four, block, hammer, punch. Five, block, hammer, punch. Six, block, hammer, punch. Good, let's speed it up just a little bit. And move, block, hammer, punch. Move, block, hammer, punch. Make them clean. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. And block, hammer, punch. Good, shake that out. Everybody back to front position. Good, and one. Give it a little sweat before we get into the weekend. Two, three, mid-speed, four, five. Go, 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 three. Five, go, 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 Deep press in. One, two, three. All right. Let's go back to those die again and see what our next group of basics and uh, exercises are. And then we're going to look at a little bit of footwork today before we get into our sword at the end of class. So let's get a little bit of roll for the basics. Basics. Here we go. Roundhouse two. So two is such a small number. We're going to have to do the front leg and the back leg on both sides. So here's what we're going to do. Little breakdown of the front leg roundhouse. It's a little bit trickier. All of my front leg kicks are going to use a little bit of a cat stance. If you watch from the side here, I keep the same level, I draw that front leg back, and I turn my hips. So if I'm doing a front kick, Flamingo comes up, and I kick, and I land back down in that neutral bow. Roundhouse is going to have the same beginning, except that when I lift that but I have to make sure that it turns sideways for my kick back down. Go as slow as you need to. Here we go. One, draw. I'm going to go super slow on this one. I'm going to do kick, raise, rotate, kick, back down. I'm back in my neutral bow. I'm on the cat anymore. Two, draw, up, rotate, kick. Down, back leg now. I can go just as slow with this one if I need to. Up, kick, back down to my squat. Same kick. Two, pop, 
Now, I'm just going to cover. I'm, I'm switching legs that are in front, but I'm going to face the other way. So we actually, no, I'm going to stay the same direction. So we get an angle on that, a different angle on that front kick, and a different angle on that back kick. So front leg again, super slow motion. Pitch your cat, my back leg's bent, my knee comes up, it points to the side, my toes are pointing out, I kick, I land back in my neutral bow. One more time. Draw the cap, lift the knee, rotate the hips and the knee, kick, back down. Back leg. My flamingo brings me the whole way up and around. My hips should be pointing the opposite direction of my stance now. Kick, back down, and two. Up and over, kick, back down. There's our two basics. Now let's get our, our exercise. Here we go. Push up for 30 seconds. So you can do this a couple different ways. It doesn't matter how many you do in those 30 seconds. Make them the best push-ups that you can. If you're still having trouble with your regular push-ups, you can do your well tail Jenny's bent. But notice how I'm not making an angle, a 90 degree angle, like a square from my hips to my knees. I'm straightening that the whole way out. I'm also not ducking my hips down. I'm using my arms to lower raise. You can do your regular push-ups. Do that. You find out you get tired from either of those and you can't make the whole 30 seconds. Try to hold your plank for the rest of the time. Here we go, everybody. Get set. 30 seconds, and go. Strong push-ups. If it gets too tough, with your arms out, go ahead and do your whale tail. If it gets too tough with that, come back up to your, your push-up position and just hold it. You're still going to get a workout as long as you're keeping that back straight, that head in line with your spine. We only have four seconds left. You can do it. And uh, nice. All right. So now, what did we look at? We looked at some combos from our, our horse stance using the same arm to counter strike, using the opposite arm to follow up. Let's get a little bit of footwork now with those same ideas. So on this one, we're going to step forward with all of our blocks. I'm going to use my same leg to step out with my block. It's the same combo. Now, instead of going from force, I've got a little bit more practical stance. I'm going to use my forward bow for my punch. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to take our second step forward, punch, punch. Now, I'm out of camera space. You guys aren't going to see me. We're probably working in small rooms. So what do we do? We go backwards and we do the same idea. And take as many. If you can only fit one step forward in your space, take that one step and uh, work it backwards and then switch feet. Here we go. We're going to work this one together. Same thing. I'm going to give you a chance, if, this, if you're new to this, if coordination is tricky, to work a little bit slow tempo, and then we'll build it up. So start from your neutral. We step and block. We're going to use our chamber back. Right into my counter strike. Four bow punch. Step out. Punch. Forward. Now step back. Out. Punch. Forward. Step back, out, punch, forward. Let's do that um, one more time over back before we speed it up. Out, punch, punch. Out, punch, punch. Make sure you're rotating those hips. You pull that arm back, your back is straight. Your front leg doesn't change from where it is on that 45. And back, out, punch, punch. Back, out, Oh, punch, punch. I goofed up on that one. See, that says he's goofed up sometimes. Now, we're going to speed it up a little bit for 
are challenges. You get lost. That's okay. You can still do it at your slow speed. Even if you just get the block and the punch going, you're still, you're still going strong. And when we upload this uh, later, you can go back and watch it and try to speed yourself up. So here we go. My, my same arm's gonna start. I'm gonna block, punch, punch. Block, punch, punch. Backwards now. Block, punch, punch. Block, punch, punch. One more time, just a little bit faster. Here we go. Block, punch, punch. Block, punch, punch. And block, punch, punch. Block, punch, punch. Nice. Shake that out. So now let's get into our second one that we used, which was our inward blocks. Going to be just the same with the lower body, different movements on top, which carries a theme that I want you to think about all of your tempo. A lot of times we might switch what attack is coming in, but the power behind it is always the same. Our marriage of gravity, our torque, our um, backup mass, and linear momentum. All right, here we go. So starting with our inward block, we'll go piece by piece first. I'm going to step in, making sure that hand goes across my face. Hammer. Now, I want you to notice something different on this strike. See how that hammer starts to turn my wrist? It's already getting me set up for that front two knuckle punch. Those of you who went through orange belt should recognize this motion or working on it already from our first uh, three beats of five swords. So, slow motion. Wah! Rotation starts in the hammer and finishes in the punch. Wah! Rotation starts in the hammer, finishes into the punch. Now we got to yeah. Some of you that you might want to palm strike because that's what we've been programmed into our brain. If that comes out, that's all right. If we're striking, we're using proper uh, uh, tools underneath it. We're still doing it right. Now we're going to go backwards. Hammer. I'm sorry. Uh, block. Hammer. Punch. Block. Hammer. Punch. Good. Just a little bit faster. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Now here's our third speed. Still not too fast, but we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit. And block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Block, hammer, punch. Nice. Shake that. Out. All right. Let's get a little bit of uh, kicking into our bodies because um, I want to get I want to get those legs moving. We had some nice roundhouses in our drills, um, but let's work at another front leg kick. Let's work our front leg back kick. So remember what we were talking about. I want everybody on this one to use the ball of their foot. So on your flamingo, you're going to pull your toes back so that the foot can punch forward. Imagine there's a gas pedal under my foot, and I'm going to push down on that gas pedal as the ball of the foot goes forward. So going back to my roundhouse idea, this one's going to be a lot easier. I still need to hit that calf stance from the front. If my hips are this way, I'm going to align for a front kick. My front kick, my hips are aligned to go to the angle. So when I pull that cap, now I'm ready to fire that kick forward. And here's the, the last little piece that's going to throw you off a little bit. Don't land back down in that cat stance. Land back down in your neutral bow. We're going to do five slow, five medium fast. Here we go. And guard's going to stay up the whole time. One, cat, flamingo, kick, neutral. Two, cat, flamingo, kick, neutral. Three, cat, flamingo, kick, neutral. Four, cat, flamingo, kick, neutral. 
five, cat, flamingo, kick, neutral. Now let's blast it out a little bit. I'm not going to call it out. I'm just going to kick. Try to hit all four parts. Don't go any faster. If you can't, if you feel yourself getting sloppy, take your time, use your patience. Here we go. One. Two. Notice how I read flamingo, landing in the neutral every time. Four. And five. Good. Switch legs. Other leg now. Five slow. Be specific. Cap. Flamingo. Kick. Neutral. I can even add a fifth part in there. It would be cat. Flamingo. Kick. Reflamingo. Neutral. I want to bring that, that foot away so it doesn't get caught when I'm using it. Four. Cap. Flamingo, kick back, down. And five, flamingo, kick back, down. Now let's do five a little bit faster. Here we go, Hold the whole motion. One, two, three, four, five. Good, shake that out. Now, let's add this idea to what we've just been working on. Um, let's do our boom. That worked. All right. So we're going to add a little bit of a kick before our counter strike. So we're, we're not changing too much of what we already did with our outward, our block, our punch, but here's where the change comes in. On my block, I'm going to cat, kick, punch, punch. There's my addition. I'm going to do the same thing. Out, kick, punch, punch. The brains might be going already. This is the challenge for today. All we're doing is adding a little in between. If you go slow and give your, uh, your brain a chance to work, you're going to get it easier than if you try to speed it up. Now let's do the same thing going backwards. Step with the block. Cat, kick, punch, punch. Step with the block. Cat, kick, punch, punch. Slightly faster. Block, cat, kick, punch, punch. Step, block, cat, kick, punch, punch. Good. If you're, if you're losing it a little bit here, once again, that's okay. Slow it down. Try to catch where we're at. Step back. Block, cat, kick, punch, punch. Step, block, cat, kick, punch, punch. Good. Last round, here's your challenge. Work those brains, see if you can get it. Block, cat, kick, punch, punch. Block, cat, kick, punch, punch, backwards. Block, cat, kick, punch, punch. And block, cat, kick, punch, punch. All right, shake it out, let that go, let that go, let that go, because we're gonna use our brains one more time. Put those inward blocks. And then we earned a little sword set to finish up today. So keep that focus. Been, been a good workout so far. Bring your brain back in. Bring your body back in. Lock into what's going on on the screen here. So let's break this down slow motion. Inward. Cat. Kick. Land with the hammer. Rotate punch. Inward. Cat. Kick. Hammer. Punch. Backward. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. Slightly faster. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. In, cat, kick, 
hammer, punch. Here's your challenge round. Here we go. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. Should be a challenge. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. In, cat, kick, hammer, punch. Good. So the, the, the last little challenge in there wasn't necessarily how fast you went, but how fast you can go with still hitting all those specifics. All right. Everybody go ahead, grab whatever you have around you to be your sword for the day, whether it's your hanger, whether it's your stick. Um, if you have a sword at home, your lightsaber, I know some of you have. Let's bring that out. Let's review what we did. Let's add a little bit more today. We're super close to getting to our end. All right. <clears throat> so. Um, do you want me to hold it? Maybe. Do you think it might be easier for them if I'm near it and just face forward like we did for the, the belt classes a lot of times? Um, let's try it because actually if I'm holding it, cool. I can scroll and All kind of right. see. So, uh, Ms. Carrie's going to follow along with, with the camera. What I'm going to do, just like we did in our exercises, is I'm going to face you for this, and I'm going to do the opposite side. So if you see me carrying the sword over here, that's the side I want you to carry it on. Right? That's the way I'd be facing. If I step this way with that leg, I want you to step out the same way. Let's give it a try. I'm going to take my weapon, I'm going to put it to my side, here we go, let's review what we've done so far. So I take my breath, dragon breathes fire, I take my weapon, and as I draw it, I put my hand on the side facing me, not the danger side, and I breathe in, bring the sword in, I breathe out. Drawing the sword out, my dragon breath again. I'm going to pull my cup and saucer to my back hand, cat stance. That same foot is going to step forward as I upward walk. My back leg is going to step with me, slice, step out, slice. Now, that same leg, my, my sword hand leg, is going to step behind me really deep. Look how deep I get. Bent leg, straight leg. And I have my pose. From here, don't worry, we're going to go through all of this again. I push off this bent leg, I come up to my crane stand. My sword is above, the danger part's above. I bring my, my chamber up. I step with my flight to my side. My leg steps behind me, and I check. Now from here, I'm just going to let myself unwind. Notice I'm not picking up any feet. That twist that I made, unwind that, that uh, twist and chop. Now take that sword and that leg back again for that pose. Let's go back from there again. Miss, Miss Carrie's giving me some nods, it looks like. Definitely the mirror. A lot of us are, are, are getting awesome. And I know this is a tricky set. We're going to hit it. I, like I said, I like to do this Friday for a little reward into the weekend for putting a, a lot of effort in. So we have. As I grab, I step. I draw back my cat and my cup and saucer. Step with the block, back foot. Step with my slice, left foot sword side. Or I'm sorry, uh, sword foot steps out with the chop. Now sword foot steps back and a big pose. Look at down the rest of your energy. Can we do the tire screen straight down? So up, crane, step, slice, step behind, check. Look, unwind that chop, step back, there's your pose again. Next part, I'm skimming 
Use that same foot maneuver that I did. That back leg is going to push off. Now I'm facing the opposite direction. I'm going to step and slice. Step behind. Here's the tricky part. I'm going to kick where my sword's facing, but I'm going to end up in front of me. It's going to look like this. Kick. Land. A little tricky. Let's go back to our second pose and then we'll tie both of them together. Um, when you say sword hand or sword foot or sword hand, that yeah. clicks for them. So, sword leg is bent, other leg straight. My empty hand is out in front of me. I step up into my crane stance. My sword leg lands with one eye sliced down. My rear leg crosses behind. Here's my tricky part, sword leg kicks towards the sword, but lands forward. Let's do that full thing from the top. Okay. Here we go. Full thing from the top, guys. Cup and saucer cap. Step and block. Step and slice. Step and slice. Back with the sword leg. The sword leg pushes up and comes up into the crane. Step and slice to my side. Step behind, check. Unwind my chop. Step back with the sword leg one more time. Push off of my sword leg. Step with my slice. Step behind again. Same pose we did before. Sword leg kicks. Lands. I slice. And I step behind again. So we're repeating that motion. That motion over and over again throughout this, this set, this little sword form here. You're going to see that. So one more time from the top. Move over just a little bit for some more space. Now, when you do this, what you can imagine when this sword is at the side here, is if I do have a belt on, it's in my belt or it's in my scabbard, my sheath, and I draw it out as I breathe. But I'm just going to hold it at the bottom here and make it simple. Block. Step slice. Step slice. Sword length back. Deep in bed. Up. Step slice, step behind, unwind, step behind, sword leg, sword leg pushes up, step with the slice, step behind, twist, sword leg kick, land slice, step behind again. That is probably going to be our stopping point for today. We're super, super close, but let's do it one more time together. So I've got in. So I'm going to talk less on this one. Follow along the best you can. Going to go a little bit more fluid. If you get lost, that's okay. Remember, we're going to keep doing this. This isn't the last day we're doing it. Nice little sword workout. 
So let's come on back over. Let's put the camera back in. Since we finished with our swords today. That's okay. Stick with us, guys. Good. What would be a, a Zoom session without a little technical difficulties? There's everybody. So here's what we're going to do today. Since we finished with our swords, we're going to bow out with our swords. So I want everybody, you can do two things. You can take your sword by the handle, whatever you're using for your sword today. You can hold it up front. Or you can hold it behind. Good. That's going to be your front position for now. Everybody take their other hand, put it in front, whether your sword's in front or in back. We're going to show respect to the front. And we're going to step out and meditate with our weapons today. Three big deep breaths in. One. Two. And three. Good. Come on up 